Good day, YouTube. You got Nick here. Nick Country Ham. <laughs> I'm going to do a little review on this Craftsman uh, M220 150cc uh, push mower. It is self propelled and it don't look the best in the world. I get, I get it's been given hell, you know. Uh, I do it, I use it commercially. This is our main mowers. Uh, my iron meter on it's going to show 25 hours, but she's running about 50 to 60. I had at least half the hours on it before I did it. I have done, I added one air filter. Oh, it still looks good, so I haven't changed it. It went through a lot of fuel. The uh, self propelled works pretty well on it. It'll pull it on a straight ground, it'll help you keep it on the side of a hill. But uh, for the most part, it's a good mower. It's not something I want to continue using, you know, 100% of the time. You know, it's I got I run two of these that one and show you the even the newer model, the newer one there sitting in the bed of the truck. So, you know, I'm not bullshitting you on using it. <laughs> I mulch inside discharge, it does pretty well. If you get into the wet grass, it does not like it. <laughs> Let me give me just a second, I'll put this side discharge shoe on. It does come with a bagger. I think at the local lows it was $309. For what I'm using them for, they work really well. Uh, the baggers will be used this fall for leaf cleanup, sucking them up and dump them at the road. But, uh, you know, they are front wheel drive. I do, I break a lot of safety things. I do keep my blade, uh, controller always down whenever I start it. Especially on a bigger yard. And I just feather the transmission cable on the bottom, keeping it moving. It does, like I said, it does, it's a no choke, no primer. It's, you pull it and she starts. 90% of the time, it's the first pull. Now, if I've had it on the side or up in the air just a little bit while I was cleaning out from under it or doing a, uh, trying to get really mainly clean out from under, do a blade change or uh, touch up a blade, get a little oil in it, it might take up to five pulls. It's just smoke a minute and she'll be running like a top. <laughs> But, uh, you know, she's holding up good for the time on it. It'll probably have another 50 to 100 hours on it this year. <laughs> and that's cut grass between, you, know, you say my yard, three and a quarter inches tall to all the way up. I cut it up to four inches high. Um, I have cut between 18 inches tall and up to four foot tall grass with it. It will do it. You just got to take your time. Some of it it doesn't like, but it still doesn't. It's all about taking your time, feathering it through it, picking it up. And uh, for the most part, like I said, she's a good more. I would recommend it if anybody's looking for it. And I'll do another update as I get more hours on it. Y'all have a good one. And this is Nick Countryham. Like, share, and subscribe.